Hi everyone, Imran here with another tutorial for Google Pixel devices. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will guide you how to download and install Lineage OS custom ROM on your Pixel phone. Lineage OS is one of the most popular custom ROMs available for Android that supports many Android devices. It is a long tutorial made for beginners. I have covered each step in detail from downloading to installing Google OEM USB drivers, platform tools, Lineage OS 20 all required files, placing additional partitions. If you are an advanced user, I would recommend you to skip the download part. Otherwise, it is highly recommended to watch the full video to avoid breaking your phone. For this tutorial, I am using the Pixel 7, but the instruction and method is same for all Pixel models including the Pixel 7 Pro, Pixel 7a, Pixel 6a, Pixel 6 Pro, Pixel 5a, Pixel 5, Pixel 4 XL and older models. Before we start, just a quick disclaimer, unlocking the bootloader, rooting and flashing your device may void your warranty and can potentially break your device if not done correctly. Always remember to backup your data before proceeding. So without further wasting your time, let's get started on how to install Lineage OS 20 on your Google Pixel device. As usual, I have already written a step-by-step -step guide on our website progeeksblog.com. The link will be given in the description of this video. This includes all the requirements for installing the Lineage OS on your device, the downloads, and flashing additional partitions using the passboot commands. These are the passboot commands that I will be using in this video then installing the custom recovery using this command and finally installing lineage os from recovery under the requirement section make sure to download the google platform tool r33.0.3 version our i recommend this version because the latest r34 have some bugs so that might give you some failed errors that is why I recommend this version. Also make sure to unlock the bootloader. If your phone bootloader is still locked, follow this link. Here I will also link the video tutorial in the description of this video on how to unlock the bootloader. Under the download section, I have given download links for Pixel 7, Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7a. I have Pixel 7, so I will click on this link. Here you will find the official Lineage OS website to download the latest build. So on the top you will find the latest build. The zip file, you need to download 5 files, ok. Lineage OS zip file, boot.img, dtbo, vendor underscore boot and vendor underscore kernel underscore boot. These 5 files, these are the download links. When you click on this link. It will start downloading the zip file as you can see I have already downloaded these files so I will skip this one now if you have an older pixel model that is not listed on our website you can go to lineageos.org homepage on the home page get click on get lineage OS here you will find list of all Android brands. I will click on Google. Now here is the list of older and latest Google Pixel models including Pixel 4, Pixel 4 XL, Pixel 4 A 5G, Pixel 5A, Pixel 6, Pixel 6 Pro, Pixel 6A and these are the latest Pixel 7 series. So I have Pixel 7 again. Click on this one and under the downloads Click on get the builds here. Again you will come to the same page. And download these 5 files. The Lineage OS comes without G apps or also called Google apps. Now if you want to use Google apps on your phone, here is the download link to download the Google apps. 
on this website sorted by newest past so here is the latest version april 09 2023 and make sure to download the arm 64 version click on this and here is the download link preparing your phone on your phone open the settings app scroll down and tap on about phone scroll down and make sure your phone is running android 13 version if you want to install the lineage os install android 13 on your phone now again tap on about phone scroll down and tap on the bell number for about seven times to enable developer options go back tap on system backup now it is highly recommended to backup your data because this process will erase everything on your device now scroll down again tap on developer options now OEM unlocking bootloader is already unlocked. Make sure your phone bootloader is already unlocked. If it is locked, follow the tutorial in the description of this video to unlock your bootloader first. Now, under USB debugging, enable USB debugging. Now you can close all the apps and connect your phone to PC. On your PC, move all the downloaded files to a single folder on your desktop. As you can see, I have downloaded the Lineage OS build, platform tools, USB drivers, mind the G apps, these are Google apps, and make sure to download the ARM64 version. And these are the additional partition files and custom recovery. Now, first of all, unzip the USB driver folder to install the Google OEM USB drivers on your PC. Right click on Android underscore Win USB and click on install. The operation completed successfully. Now, unzip the platform tools folder. Now copy lineage, mind the GF, use vendor underscore boot and the additional partition files. I will cut this file and move the and move it to the platform tools folder. Now all files are in platform tools folder. Now flashing additional partitions. Now in the address bar type cmd and hit enter key to open the command prompt in the platform tools folder. Type adb devices. Now it says unauthorized allow USB debugging on your device. Now type again adb devices. Now as you can see your device is connected. I will type clear to clear the command prompt window. Now again type adb reboot bootloader. This will boot your phone into fast boot mode. As you can see my phone is now in fast boot mode. Now we will first test the boot image file. Fast boot devices. Enter. As you can see our phone is now recognized in fast boot mode. Now I will type fast boot flash boot space and then name of the boot image file which is boot.img and hit enter. Now it is done. Next we will place the DTBO file. Now again type fast boot flash. DTBO 
and again name of the file dutyvo.img and hit enter it is also done now we will flash the vendor underscore kernel underscore boot file now in the command prompt window type again fast boot flash vendor underscore kernel underscore boot then space and again type name of the image which is again the same image name vendor underscore underscore kernel vendor underscore kernel underscore boot dot img it is the exact command you need to enter now it is also done now we will install the recovery again type fast boot flash vendor underscore boot and then name of the file which is again the same vendor underscore boot dot img and hit enter key this will install custom recovery on your device now it is done on your phone using the volume keys select recovery mode and using the power button select recovery mode this will boot your phone into custom recovery it will take a while please do not press any key until your phone is in recovery mode your phone is now in recovery mode Using the volume keys or you can use also touch screen to select the factory reset option using power button. Factory reset, format data, factory reset, select format data. Now your phone is factory reset. Go back and tap on apply update. Apply from ADB. and keep your phone connected to PC. Now we will start installing the Lineage OS. Here is the Lineage OS file. It is zip file. So I will type adb side load and name of the file. So it is Lineage OS and I will hit the tape key on the keyboard. It will auto fill the full name of the file and hit enter it will start placing the lineage os build on your phone it will take around five to six minutes and might stuck at 47 percent but it will progress on your device screen you can check your device screen Congratulations, Lineage OS is successfully installed on your phone. Now I will try to flash the Google Apps as well. We are almost done. Now installing the G Apps. Again, you need to factory reset your phone. Now go back. Apply update. Apply from ADB. Now again open the command prompt window and type ADB side load, ADB side load and then name of the Google Apps file which is mind the gaps. So type. So type mind and then you can hit the tape key on your keyboard it will auto fill the full name of the file as you can see and hit enter and now again it will take a couple of minutes during the installation it will ask you signature verification failed install anyway select yes Now Google Apps are almost installed. 
Now you can reboot your phone. Again, it, on the first boot, it will take a few minutes to boot. You can set up your phone like you normally would do if you want to add a Google account or Patreon lock. Congratulations, you, you have successfully installed Lineage OS 20 on your Google Pixel 7. As you can see, I have also installed the Play Store in Google Earth. Thank you for watching. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.